New at 10, we are getting a behind the scenes look at how one of the biggest fireworks shows in the area kept all of those crowd pleasing explosives dry while a severe thunderstorm moved through the area earlier tonight. Wait 31's Cody Fisher is live in Madison where the fireworks show at Dublin Park just ended. Hey, Cody. Yeah, Dan and Najah, just under an hour ago, there was hundreds of people lounging around on the grass here at Dublin Park just like this, and they were actually braving the rain during the actual fireworks show. And the show lasted about 15 minutes, but it might not have ever happened if the pyrotechnics team didn't plan ahead for the weather. 51's not reading good at the box either. We need to check that. The Pyro Shows Company has been putting on elaborate, explosive shows for 50 years. Michael Ford is running this show at Dublin Park in Madison. It's definitely nerve wracking. You prepare for weeks, you get here to show day, uh, you set up all day long, and then that last five minutes, your stomach starts rolling. What makes it so nerve wracking are the unknowns. One of the biggest ones is the weather, but they plan ahead for that. Once we have everything loaded, Everything is watertight, and it could sit there for a week if we wanted it to. It takes six weeks to plan a show of this size. Over 2,000 shells, over a mile of wires. All of it is heavily regulated by the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms, and Explosives. Once the crew makes sure everything is safe, they still have to plan a well thought out show. And you have to uh, script your show to the music. Madison Mayor Paul Finley told me the city paid just under $15,000 for this show. For that kind of price tag, the pressure was on to make it perfect. But even if something does go wrong... Nine times out of ten, something will happen. They'll be like, oh, that was a cool effect. But really, we're like, oh, no, that, that wasn't supposed to happen. Now, to give all of you at home a sense of how strict these safety regulations were for this show, where I'm standing right now is where everyone was standing and watching. But a little over a football field away, that's where the fireworks were actually located and shooting up into the air. Now, the pyrotechnic crew tells me that they actually had to be 420 feet away from homes, cars, and people, but they were playing it safe by keeping those fireworks all the way over there. Reporting live in Madison, Cody Fisher, Way 31 News.